All right, so to celebrate hitting 13K, I'm gonna bring you guys the opposite of the Goon Bowl, right? That was a bowl to celebrate all the savage moments throughout fiction. This is all the funny moments throughout fiction where characters put over other characters, made them look good, and took L's for the sake of the writing or for the sake of making us laugh. So real quick, if you enjoy content like this, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that, and help me grow as, uh, like I said, we just hit 13K and hopefully we continue to grow uh, throughout this journey on YouTube. Also check out my second channel, um, which is on the homepage of my channel as well as in the, uh, I can link it down below, but that channel is growing as well and we're bringing a lot of stuff like Star Wars, Yu Yu Hakusho, My Hero, uh, and things like that to that channel. So definitely check that out as well, but real quick, these are 50 jobber moments from comics. They're literally moments that I thought of off the top of my head when I made the 50. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And without further ado, let's begin. First up, and obviously an iconic moment, Thanos jobs. Now, who does he job to? The cops. That's right. Thanos uh, had a run-in with the New York police. And if you don't know, Marvel humans are super based and... They, of course, seeing Thanos get the drop on him, and the cops arrest Thanos. Thanos actually put over the cops, and we had to start off the list with a banger like that. Now, number two, not too far off, and this was actually featured in my Dark Side jobbing video. Dark Side working at McDonald's. That's right. For someone that talks so much shit to all of creation and to everyone in the multiverse, Dark Side's looking real dumb getting caught at a normal ass nine to five. Hold this L, dark side. You can't talk shit to us and then get seen like that. That's ridiculous. Next, this is a shout out to Chuck. This is one that came to his mind immediately when I mentioned the Jobber Bowl to him. Goku giving haters something to build a case with, which is, of course, the laser fiasco. That's right. Goku being laser uh, level, being jeopardized by getting hit by a simple laser that shit had goku fans in shambles in terms of scaling and it was definitely one of the worst jobber moments and one of the most famous jobber moments ever next personally i think this one's horrible the time neji from naruto got uppercutted out of relevancy that's right as soon as he took the l to the naruto after beating the shit out of naruto after dog walking him after being gassed up as like the elite of the elite there, he gets uppercutted once by Naruto, is out of the game, and is not relevant after that. I, like, I don't care what you say, he really didn't do shit after that, wasn't really on anything. Like he, he just like lost all his swag when he jobbed to Naruto, so it had to make the top. It's one of the first jobber moments I think of all the time. By the way, let me know in the comment section down below, what are the first jobber moments to come to mind for you when you think of jobbing? These were literally the ones that I auto thought of, so I'm definitely interested in seeing what comes to mind for you guys instantly. But anyways, getting back to the list, this one is a Trigon L. Of course, I had to be featured. The time Mr. Omnipotent himself, Big Bad Trigon, got the shit kicked out of him by bizarro and was folded and killed by bizarro on his own turf bizarro reject superman superman missing fucking like all his iq literally got dropped and finished by b-list superman how do y'all feel about that trigon fans i don't know how i would feel if i was a fan of his that's horrible and is definitely an iconic jobbing moment next the t some of the worst jobbers you'll see ever. The Guardians um, of the Universe from DC Comics, the ones that help with the lanterns and shit. They're the ones that govern the lanterns, designate them, all that. They got punked by Lar Fleece. Not only did he bitch them, he kept his ring. They couldn't even get their own shit back. That's right. They got chain snatched and put over Lar Fleece 
in the same sequence. One of the worst cases of jobbing, but when you're the Guardians of the Universe, that's just a fucking every Tuesday to you. So don't even worry about that for them. That's just another L to add to the list. But yeah, they are some of the worst jobbers you will see in comics. Next, the Time Tribunal. Big bad tribunal. Mr. Protects all of reality in Marvel. The judge and all that shit. Talk about a hype job. This man puts over the Beyonders in spectacular fashion. He's supposed to be the big dog that like stops you before God has to step in, right? He steps in against the Beyonders and got mauled. Dropped on like every conceivable level. The fact that he only shows up to get his ass beat most of the time is a super L. And he put over the Beyonders in one of the most legendary fashions ever. So it hacks to make the list for me. Next, the time Spectre put over Necron. So this was rough because Necron's strong, right? But Spectre's the, the wrath of God itself. Like he's supposed to be stupidly broken. But of course, in order to hype up Necron, the Black Lantern goat, he, a pro, Spectre pulls up on Necron gets literally gets folded instantly like Necron just walks through him type shit like it's horrible and like the fact they use my boy Spectre for such a punching bag is terrible go check out my Spectre is a goon video because that's the only run that ever give him his damn flowers but yeah he he put over Necron in a horrible fashion here next the time Ares was turned into lasagna on panel in order to put over Raging Sentry. That's right. Ares, the god from Marvel Comics. The big bad god of war. He's supposed to be like the realist when it comes to fighting. Gets pulled up on by Sentry. And literally gets torn in half like a piece of paper. Like he doesn't mean shit. And instantly puts over Sentry. And makes us think, oh my god, Sentry's a badass. But yeah, just the fact that he was used to put over Sentry so hard is a horrible moment for Ares. It's a it's a forever a blemish on his record. Next, the time Sentry arguably has a worse Ares moment with Null. This one particularly hurt for Sentry fans because it took a moment where he bodied a jobber and it got flipped on his head, right? His bitch ass got reverse Uno. It was horrible. So Noel obviously came in the game with some pretty serious hype behind him, killed a Celestial, all that. Pulls up on Sentry. Not only does he body Sentry, he tears him in half in the exact same way Sentry did Ares. It was a horrible uh, karma moment, and we can't let it escape the first jobber bowl. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sentry fans, that one's rough. Next, the time Gore. Everybody loves Gore the God Butcher. Don't get me wrong. He's a badass. But I can't let him escape this one. Gore lost a fucking argument to himself. How embarrassing is that? So Homeboy obviously made constructs like of his dead family. And in the end when he's boxing against three different types of Thors. He starts losing. And is losing because he lost to himself in an argument. Basically gets bitched by his son construct and convinced he's like he failed the set and all that shit has you know, horrible ending to that story but regardless the fact he lost an argument to himself and jobbed out after that dog shit <laughs> i'm sorry but like that was a terrible way to do gore next the time thor got negged from his feelings getting hurt like no one talks about this i should have brought this up in the first thor jobbing video but Thor one time had an encounter with Nick Fury in which Nick was getting pressed about all the wild shit he does, right? And he pulls up and whispers something to Thor. We didn't know what it was for a long ass time after that, but whatever he whispered at that time made Thor unworthy. Thor got soloed by a sentence whispered to him. That is horrible. Next, the time Maul got cut to pieces, cut in half for being a dumbass. So Maul, of course, was came in the game a beast, right? Like, 
he was fighting against Qui-Gon Jinn, a renowned, he's called the Maverick, like a renowned galactic menace when it comes to being a Jedi. Like, he was pretty well known for getting in scraps, one of the best uh actual season duelist he actually had lightsaber combat before that in terms of actual um real real intense lightsaber combat against his um former apprentice so it wasn't just training for him Qui-Gon was actually a vet and Maul killed him Maul then beats the apprentice Kenobi but while he was gloating when he should have finished Kenobi um he gets punished for it and gets cut in half and completely jobbed to the less skilled and less experienced Kenobi. Horrible moment for Maul and it's just another moment in his illustrious jobbing career. This one we have to call out Vader. You'll be surprised Vader does have some jobber moments. For me this one comes in the form of him putting over Ahsoka right? He let Ahsoka press him, get some hits in, look real good, and create a lot of arguments for Ahsoka's stands uh, when it comes to her placement in terms of power. So the fact that he was letting Ahsoka box him up and uh, made her scaling look great, I have to vibe check him here. Like, Vader, you should have just folded her. I don't care if that's your former apprentice. Don't hold back. Fold her. Don't let her get any more arguments about being strong. Next the time yeah obviously i don't i don't hate ahsoka but uh people like said she was like yoda level and shit after that it was ridiculous <laughs> next wolverine of course y'all knew it was coming there were, there have to be wolverine moments wolverine gets caught slipping and mauled by spock that's right the dude from star trek the vulcan yeah he is a badass if you really know your star trek but most people don't uh, at least in terms of X-Men fans. And so they were probably surprised when he got humbled. Wolverine got bodied by uh, Spock. It was uh, not even close in terms of that fight. And it was pretty embarrassing for Wolverine. Next, Mephisto gets vibe checked on his own turf. Of course, the one to do so was the god we know, Dr goon aka dr doom and he pulled up on mephisto in his own turf mephisto's like yo your soul belongs to me now dr doom was like don't think so bitch and starts beating him up that's right mephisto was getting beat up on his own turf embarrassing moment for the hell lord but you know shit happens to the best of us next vader is back again that's right this time i gotta bring up when he put over the farm boy yes I don't care what you say. Luke only had a couple years of minor training. When I say minor training, he trained once with like Kenobi. Trained for a little bit with Yoda. Besides that, he was doing shit on his own. He was just out here wilding, right? Just getting stronger on his own, practicing his own shit. Basic stuff. He beat Vader. Vader, the dude with decades of training and experience. With so much more practiced power actualized power puts over his son luke in spectacular fashion i don't care what anyone says that was a jobber moment next the time maul really guessed it against kenobi this is a horrible moment for maul pulls up on kenobi he's trying to get kenobi to team up with him kenobi's like nah not really going for it fam and Maul's like, oh, you're protecting something. And if you don't come with me, I'll find out what it is. Kill it, all that stuff. So Kenobi's like, all right, chill, bitch. And squares up with him. Maul, thinking he was going to fold Kenobi, comes in, gets three-pieced, and dies. That's right. Literally gets insta-folded by Kenobi. Hell of a jobber moment from Maul and literally cost him his life. Next the damn captains put over Aizen. Now, this was horrible. Shout out to all the Bleach fans. There will also be Bleach on my uh, second channel. Again, go check it out. And uh, make sure to like hit the like button if you haven't already. That would be super dope of you. But uh, anyways, Aizen shows up, right? And he's styling on people. And they think they got him cornered, all the captains. And they jump him and they start stabbing the shit out of him. And he's like, ha, stupid bitch made you look. And they realize they were shish kebabbing one of their own. Because their dumbasses tried to jump Aizen. I hope you guys learned you don't simply just jump Aizen. It's ridiculous to think they could do so. 
They tried it, they guessed it, and someone got shish kebobbed for it. Next, the time a random assassin puts over my boy Shin. We're calling out the assassin, so... First of all, this is one of the best mangas ever. It's my favorite kingdom. Um, and Shin was just a kid with dreams. He was, you know, a orphan and whatnot. No real battle experience. He sparred with his best friend for his whole life, but no real experience, right? He gets pulled up on by an assassin after the assassin kills his uh, friend. And he beats the assassin. The trained, experienced assassin puts over Shin and makes Shin realize he could be the goat one day. Shout out to the assassin taking the elder kid Shin and putting him over. Next, Cartman. <laughs> Cartman, oh my god, go check out my Cartman goon video. He, he's the goat. But Cartman struggled in a brawl with Honey Boo Boo Child. Uh, if you don't know who that is, it was uh, over, obviously, in the cartoon drawn as an overweight child. And, um was a reality star and Cartman beefed with her and they fought and it was a legit brawl and the fact <laughs> Cartman can body Cthulhu and like command Cthulhu but can't brawl with Honey Boo Boo Child I, I don't know it was a hell of a jobber moment and it's straight comedy next uh just we got to talk about in general you, you could literally pick one because there's so many but Probably one of the most notorious jobbers ever, Kenny. Why? Kenny from South Park literally dies all the time. And sometimes for no reason. Almost all the time for a ridiculous reason. But the fact that he's guaranteed the job to something at the end of the episode uh, is ridiculous and deserves to be mentioned and honored on the Jobber Bowl. Next. This one particularly bothers me. If you've been watching my content for a while, you've heard me rant about this a few times. Iron Fist lost a martial arts sparring match with dumbass Wolverine. That's right. I know Wolverine is skilled. I know he's intelligent and all that, but Iron Fist is supposed to be the man. This is his one job. Martial arts are his one job. And the fact he got casually bested by Wolverine in a sparring match and was made to look stupid horrible jobber moment for iron fist i don't respect it hell of an l for him definitely jobbed next we have to speak on dark side's record against stairs that's right dark side has jobbed two stairs not much we have to talk about in terms of this one he was walking downstairs wasn't smart enough to calculate the distance uh his servant said it was unimaginable unthinkable what occurred but that's right he face planted because the bitch can't walk l for dark side next jiren i gotta bring this up jiren's a badass absolutely in fact when he came in the game he had one of the coldest intros i mean he came in uh folding people casually arms crossed looking like a menace to society but the top seed jiren did not win this man easily could have win, but nope, he wanted to show off, ends up jobbing by not securing the bag uh, for the team. And the fact that he was so hyped up and didn't win the tournament, definitely a jobber moment. I don't care how he lost, definitely an L. Next, Wolverine. Of course, I had to mention, it's one of my favorite jobber moments ever. Gets vibe checked by nature in the form of a deer. You can look at it yourself. It's self-explanatory. Wolverine hella guessed it versus a deer. Paid for it dearly and got his shit rocked from a kick from the deer. Next, Johnny Storm uh, puts over Mother Nature. Uh, I Personally, uh, and if y'all have been around for a while, I've always done animal versus videos. Like I've done three or four, I think, on this channel. Probably will bring it back to the second channel. But regardless, one of my favorite animals ever, Hippo, right? Johnny Storm said, of all things he's ever faced, hippos are the scariest and gravest threat to endure. That's right. Everything he's faced throughout all the time and space, it's hippos that are the scariest and the goaded. Putting over hippo hippos like that's a jobber moment, but shout out to Johnny for giving the hippos some clout. Next, hell of an L because I've wanked this character above Dooku. Coleman Trevor dies to blaster bolts. So... The reason I say I've wanked him above Dooku is there's some lore that states that Trevor 
was just a few seconds away from ending the Clone Wars. What's this mean? He was real close to killing Dooku. That's what it has to mean. But he got shot. Had the chance to fold Dooku and get shot. Talk about fumbling the bag. Had to mention it. Shout out to the Dinosaur Jedi. Next, Vulture. Oh, this was horrible for him. Vulture fans, all three of you, I'm sorry. We got to talk about it. Um, Vulture was characterized in the paper and by the media to have, like, bodied Spider-Man and to scale above Spider-Man and all things Spider-Man. Craven interpreted this as them believing Craven scaled below Vulture. So, Vulture pulled up and started applying pressure. Uh, <laughs> uh, Craven started applying a pressure to Vulture and was absolutely mauling him. And Vulture looked like he was scared for his life. Uh, but just like literally getting beat up just because he's mistaken as being relevant. Such a jobber moment for Vulture. Craven beat the shit out of him. Next, the Fantastic Four jobbing. That's right. They actually don't have as many jobbing moments as you think because they've dealt with some nasty shit. But one of their moments was when they guessed it. Hella guessed it. Walking down Yancey Street. They came down Yancey Street. Yancey Street gang said, look, bitches, don't come down here thinking shit's sweet. Like, just turn around, go somewhere else. They're like, nah, we're good in any hood. We're the Fantastic Four. And they're like, all right, that shit's corny. And proceeds to vibe check all four of them. Like, folds them. Uh, makes them call, uh, makes Mr. Fantastic call them, like, restless native in some very controversial statements, and, <laughs> and they have to bail. But, yeah, it was, uh, just taking an L to regular street kids, horrible for the Fantastic Four. Next, Beyonder got beat up. That's right. Beyonder gets beat up for blackface. It's as simple as that. He goes to the perceived hood in Marvel uh, and after observing uh, black people, he decides to change his skin color when he meets Luke Cage and start using lingo and shit. And they perceive it as blackface, and it is, but he thought he was just trying to fit in, and he gets beat up by Marvel humans. And Luke Cage had to step in. Oh, it, it was straight comedy. They wouldn't write this shit now, but yeah, he, he really did that shit and got beat up for it. Next, Molecule Man putting over sentry this is terrible so molecule man obviously his power is molecular manipulation it's about he's supposed to be the goat at that that's his one job he fights sentry in a battle of molecules and loses to sentry that's right his one job he failed at it we had to talk about it there you go molecule man is back again putting over doom this man literally just serves to let doom get buckets like doom enslaves him uses him as a battery whatever he wants uses his power but just him getting bullied by doom over the years and getting used instead of being a monster like he should be because he's so powerful he's super it's just a super l like the doom molecule man interactions jobber moments straight up for molecule man next Dormammu got judo tossed. That's right. This is rough. Uh, Dormammu got into a scuffle with Doctor Strange. Of course, what were the stakes in this uh, scuffle? The fate of every plane of existence ever. And while they're fighting, Dormammu was like, yo, you know how powerful I am, bitch. I'm out of reversal. You can't check me. Strange is like, that shit's cool and all, but you've never done judo, pussy. And flips him. And starts beating up Dormammu. That's right. The fact that Judo was pressing the shit out of Dormammu. Terrible L for him. And he jobbed and lost that fight to uh, Doctor Strange. Next. Uh, T Taboro got mangled on his own turf. This was rough. So Taboro is similar to Dormammu. And he's supposed to be like this extra dimensional being that rules. Uh, similar to a Hell Lord. He got pulled up on by Doctor Strange, and Doctor Strange is like, yo, let's just throw hands. Damn the magic stuff, let's just straight up throw hands. Starts beating up Tabora on his own turf, and makes Tabora have to cheat and use magic, and still beats Tabora. Tabora got beat up multiple times in one fight by Doctor Strange, and jobbing like that on his own turf was terrible. Next, Tribunal 
who's supposed to be this big bad super powerhouse his big bad super powerhouse punishment or uh conditions for dr strange was sewing that's right he told dr strange he said if you want to impress me show me you can sew your cape and strange does and that shit was enough for for tribunal he's like oh my god that was amazing like <laughs> magical sewing apparently is the wildest shit for tribunal i don't care how it's phrased or how strong it's supposed to be it was dumb and definitely belonged on here next the hell council loses to a terrier that's right so the hell council from dc it had like trigon naran i think uh belial was there uh all these things and all of them lose to the presence in a brawl casually not only that though they had prepped for this they had talked shit and they were all there and he was in the form of a little 10 pound terrier and he bullied them the fact they jobbed that hard with prep time terrible l next the time naran got beat up by midnighter that's right the hell lord uh the one who at one point says he's the living refute to the presence he got pulled up on by Midnighter, who had um, a sliver of, like, angelic being so he could go down there. Pulled up on and gets the shit kicked out of him. I mean, Midnighter was literally boxing his face off. And just the fact he was getting beat up like that on his home turf, you know how I feel about home turf L's. Had to add it to the list. Next, Flash beefing with people that use boomerangs. I don't care what y'all have I don't care what y'all say about this like he's a speedster he's supposed to be the fastest man alive he's supposed to be the fastest character narratively he's beefing with people that throw fucking boomerangs at him and hit him <laughs> every time he gets hit by a boomerang I'm like this dude's a goddamn jobber and yeah just him beefing with someone that uses boomerangs I don't care what you say that's jobber shit that's wild to me next the time reverse flash <laughs> like forgets how fast he is versus batman because batman stabs him is like oh you can't really phase properly or move now like he forgets the rest of his body functions and starts getting beat up by batman like i don't get why his arms wouldn't still move super fast i don't get why his head wouldn't move super fast all this elbows like he should still his upper torso be super fast i don't get why he started getting beat up by batman but that shit happened next sidious losing to a wrestling throw so for as strong as he is for how prepared he was to not get overthrown by anyone or pressed by anyone how much violence he had brought through the galaxy how much destruction he had caused sidious got caught slipping and thrown down a hole by vader it was as simple as that the fact he got caught slipping in that fashion and lost in that fashion terrible job or moment next the time I, I i don't know why no one talks about this but it has to do with lovecraft i was reading it and i realized they're big bad like the dreamer the one that dreams of it all if he wakes up he gets folded the dreamer if the dreamer wakes up and is not dreaming anymore it's over with like the dreamer's not strong anymore because they're not dreaming so like they get folded by waking like realization or actually using power i'm sorry that's jobber shit from your top dog that's hella jobber to me next swiper right i gotta check him that's my boy i was the first to really scale him but i gotta talk about it like he gets vibe checked by a phrase a simple phrase is enough to stop swiper in his tracks the dude that can throw stars the dude that beefs with a backpack that can produce anything that literally Dora requests. A character that blitzed all the Doras that literally have created stuff to fly throughout solar systems instantly, right? He has all this stuff. He could time travel, all these things. Loses to a fucking phrase. Embarrassing shit. Next, uh, Iron Man getting humbled by Thor. This was hilarious. The reason it's a jobber moment is because Iron Man pulled up on Thor flexing and was like, look, bro, I don't know if you heard about this, but I'm the big dog around here now. And you got to check in with me. And Thor was like, I don't check in. 
Thor then proceeds to beat the shit out of him and tell him he's going to do what he wants and Iron Man literally can't do shit about it. And it's one of the worst vibe checks you'll ever see in comics. Next, the time Yuha got crossed and sauced by Aizen. That's right, Yuha at that point, he looked unbeatable. Like, had every hacks in the book, uh, could see everything in the multiverse, every possible future. Gets, He pulls up, runs into Aizen. Aizen's like, bro, I'm the big dog. They start scrapping. Aizen tricked him. That's right, Aizen fooled him. And his tricks worked on him. And the fact he got sauced on like that, hell of a jobber moment. Next, Dormammu putting over Galactus. So Galactus pulled up in Dormammu's realm. Dormammu's like, yo, I run this shit. You, you can't just step up in here like that. Galactus was ignoring him. Eventually, they do fight. Galactus absorbs him. That's right. Got pulled up on in his own realm and absorbed. Top tier disrespect, definitely a jobber moment. Next, the time Galactus got popped by Thanos. Have to talk about it. Galactus had hella prep. He even went out, made friends, and got people to help him get ready. Pulls up on Thanos, gets popped immediately, beheaded by the blast, got completely destroyed. It was a terrible moment for him and his reputation. Next, Kingpin. Uh, getting the shit kicked out of him in prison by Spider-Man. This I got accepted as a Kingpin fan. It was an L. Uh, he pulled up talking shit to Spider-Man. Spidey reveals who he is. He's like, bro, you disrespected me. Tried to put my family in the box. Take this L. Beat the shit out of Kingpin. Could have killed him. Was Just embarrassed him in front of everybody. And it was a nasty job moment. Next iron man getting humbled again this was bad this was in the recent shang chi run pulls up on shang chi shang chi styles on him using ninja tools i mean just the fact that someone like iron man is struggling against ninja tools pretty bad jobber moment finally make sure to hit the like button if you haven't already wolverine getting disrespected every year in memory of his dead wife by Sabretooth. It's it's rough, but Sabretooth embarrasses him, beats him up, just styles on him every year, makes fun of him because his wife was killed. It's horrible, but Wolverine never seems to put away Sabretooth for doing that to him, and it's hella disrespectful. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the top 50 jobber moments that came to mind for me. If you want to see another one of this, Run up the like buttons and I'll bring this and Goon Bowl back for uh, every time we hit another thousand subs. But thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy YFE, a.k.a. Jobbers and Goons. Again, thank you for 13K and I'll see you all later. Peace.